friends <coughs> today we are going to do some problems from chapter 1 exercise 1.1 euclid's division algorithm now the question states use euclid's division algorithm to find the hcf of 135 and 225 now here 225 is greater than 135 so we'll apply the division algorithm to 225 and 135 so for that we will start let's write down 200 and that this will be the first step step a so 225 will be equal to let's find out how many times will 135 divide 225 that's only one time so 135 so that will leave us with the remainder zero so we'll not continue with the division here so we'll just write down 225 is equal to divisor 135 into quotient 1 plus remainder 90 in the second step now we will continue with 135 so 135 now we will divide with 90 that is going to be 90 into 1 plus so let's divide 135 90 1 times 95 14 so 4 that will be 45 then we will continue with this again next step again next 90 will come down we'll divide 90 by 45 so we all know 90 is 45 into 2 plus 0 now only when we have the remainder as 0 we will be stopping otherwise we'll just continue so some problems might take more than four or five steps also but we'll just continue until we achieve attain 0 so hence once we have 0 we can clearly see that 45 is an exact divisor of 90 so hence hcf of 225 and 135 is 45 let's continue with one more problem again that's like problem number three that is hcf of 867 and 225 so since 867 is bigger here so we'll continue with that hcf so now first step 867 will be equal to 225 into how many times plus the remainder let's see 867 225 sorry not it's not 225 it is 255 55 so 255 into three times so 255 into three that will be 765 so 2 left 1 so 3 times remainder 102 next step we'll continue with 255 equal to we'll divide 255 by 102 into plus remainder so 2 times 2 to the 4 0 2 so that will leave us with remainder 51 2 times We'll continue again because our remainder is still not zero yet so now we'll bring 102 now we'll divide 102 by 51 so 51 into how many times will be exactly that will be two times so that'll leave us with the remainder zero so now since we have the remainder here as zero our hcf of 867 and 255 will be 51 so that's how simple it is to use Euclid's algorithm to find out the 